To say business in front, party in the back, Wisconsin now has two champions in the national mullet contest. We sent CBS 58's Bill Walsh to track down the history of this hairdo and why it's making a comeback. The bi-level shag, the Tennessee top hat, the neck warmer, whatever you call a mullet these days, call Wisconsin the mullet capital of the nation. Eight-year-old Emmett Bailey of Menominee is the kids division champion. In the teen division, Wisconsin took first and third. So I did a kids contest in 2020, and, and from there we kind of just kept growing the brand. If you didn't know there was a yearly national mullet contest until now, you're probably not alone. Founder Kevin Begola says the contest is growing every year, and rocking a mullet right now is in. And I think after COVID and, and everything that everybody's been through, it's kind of like a big just, you know, screw you to everything that's happened, and I want to have fun now, you know? Let's, let's not just always be so serious. French fashion guru Henri Mollet is credited with the origin of the word. Since the 1970s, mole has been Americanized into mullet. Historians say this hairstyle has been worn by rebels for centuries, from hooligans in ancient Rome to Ben Franklin to Billy Ray Cyrus. The 1994 Beastie Boys track Mullet Head had all the cool kids going to their barber with specific directions on what to do with the clipper. Iran banned the mullet, adding it to a list of decadent Wisconsin cuts. But national teen champion Caden Kershaw, high school senior in Wausau, says he's donating his $1,000 prize money to charity. It's kind of funny getting all the attention because when I first started growing the mullet, I never, like, imagined this stuff, you know. Like I said, it was just a joke at the time. So while the mullet has been around almost as long as humanity itself, Wisconsin has perfected it in 2022. It's a... Uh... A pretty e epic time to be alive, and it looks like uh, Wisconsin has some majestic mullins. <laughs> All right. Probably too late for us because okay. the end of the sign-up is August 31st. Oh, but anyone yeah. out there with a Wisconsin waterfall... Uh -huh. <laughs> so Wisconsin waterfall. Yeah, huh? sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've, got, uh, we've got the link on our website, cbs58.com, with this story. to sign up for the National Mullet Contest. Oh, my goodness. Hooligans, please apply. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. Right, it's yeah. a lifestyle. I love the deep dive you took on this story. I've learned a, a great deal about mullets. Yes. Something I wore years and years ago. And wore it well. <laughs> Always time to bring it back, Mike. <laughs> Never. Always time. All right, Bill, thanks so much for that. And thank you for watching today at 4. The CBS 58 News at 5 starts.